Hey there, this is Fernando coming to you from beautiful uh, Geelong, Australia, just outside of Melbourne here. With your 60 seconds of motivation, inspiration, tips and resources to help you grow your home business. For all my friends in the United States today, 4th of July, happy 4th of July. Hope you have an amazing day uh, with your celebrations. Uh, today's topic, what are we going to talk about? Talk about how to get big results in your home business. So uh, as I'm coaching people every day, the one thing that's common in conversation is I want to get results and I want to get results quickly. So the question then I want to ask is what do we focus on in order to get those big results? What should you focus on in order to get those big results? Because most people, what they focus on is the results themselves. And, and there's a problem with that. When you're focusing on results, that can be motivating or it can be discouraging depending on whether they're positive or whether they're negative. And so what I want to um, invite you to consider today is that rather than be motivated by the results, I want you to start to think about being driven by your philosophy. Now, what is a philosophy? A philosophy is nothing more than a set of values by which you operate your business. And there's a philosophy that I want to share with you that I've um, implemented, that I've adopted, if you like, for myself and how I do uh, my business. And it's called Slight Edge Philosophy. And Slight Edge Philosophy is nothing more than doing the simple daily actions uh, that are productive, that are going to give you massive results. Excuse me one second. <coughs> I'm recovering from a cold here. So we're in winter in Melbourne. So why that is important is because it's actually counterintuitive to how most people are taught in the industry. We are taught if you're in network marketing, you have to take massive action. You know, you've got to be into action every day. And when I ask people every day, how committed are you to running your business? I usually, I, people won't even give me a level 10 commitment. And it's only because I don't feel they can put in the amount of hours they need to do um, to be able to get the results that they think they want uh, for themselves. And so, and that's because most people are thinking that in order to be a level 10 commitment, you have to be doing five hours, eight hours a day in your business. And that's actually um, a misconception. That is not true. Your results are not going to be driven by how many hours you do in your business, by the con but by the consistency of hours that you do in your business every single day. So to talk about the uh, slide edge philosophy, for example, that I used to run my business, is I focus on the simple daily things that I can do every single day five days a week that if i do them consistently the day comes through time that i will get exponential results now again that is counterintuitive so in order for this to work for you for your business you have to stop looking at the results with your natural eyes and you have to be driven by the philosophy which means i know that if, even though i may not see results today i may not see results this week or next week i know that if i continue to do simple daily actions that I know how to do in my business every day, it might be for one hour a day, it might be for two hours a day, but if I continue to do those actions, what happens is I'm developing a habit pattern that's going to help me build momentum, that are going to help me get results and help me start to get where I want to go in my business. And one of the things that you're going to need to do that's really important is you're going to need to close your eyes and put blinkers on so that people, you're not listening to your upline all the time, because your upline may be saying to you, you need to get in front of more people, you need to do more presentations, um, you need to go for no. And that's all okay, that's how you choose to do your business. But if you're going to be driven by your philosophy of success, then you need to say, you know what, I am going to decide what are the simple daily actions that I need to do every day that I can do, so I am not compromising my family, my children, my spouse, or my other social activities, the things that I need to do, so I'm feeling good about what I'm doing actually in the time that I'm allocating to my business. I want to get on and I want to get off. So I want to start my business, let's say if I'm only committing two hours a day, I want to get on at 8 o'clock in the evening and I want to get off at 10. I don't want to be working till 4 in the morning. Now I've been guilty of that because I've fallen into that uh, trap before. So again, it's, it's not that about perfection here. It's about taking the steps so that we can become better at what we do to build that momentum. So the invitation for you is to consider be dri being driven by your philosophy rather than by the results. And that way you're going to always take the actions that you need. So the next question that may come up for you is what are the actions that I should be taking every single day? Now this is what uh, we teach inside of a program that I'm a part of 
um, where we teach you how to use attraction marketing to attract qualified people. And just to give you some ideas, you know, three simple actions that I recommend that you should be doing is starting your day with motivation, inspiration, meditation, reflecting on, uh, on gratitude, the things you're grateful for, visualizing what you actually want to achieve, so taking personal time to do that. You also want to be reading at least 10 pages of a book of personal development each day so that you can be building yourself up. Okay, because really at the end of the day, and, and you may know this if you've been following me for a while, is that the goals that you want to achieve are not even about what you're going to get, but who you have to become so that you can get those things. And that's only going to happen as you actually allow yourself to grow, and you can't grow unless you're putting information into your mind. Now, it's not just about adding more knowledge, but it's about implementing that knowledge. So learning, but applying, like the philosophy that we're talking about. And the third thing is you may start connecting with three people a day on social media, just starting conversations and if you don't know, don't know how to do that reach out to me just put more com uh, in the comments below more information on how to how do I reach out to more people how do I connect more people because there is a way that you can actually have people reach out to you without him to stay in family and friends but if you're starting three conversations a day you're going to develop a bit of a pipeline of people that want to hear what you have to say and what you have to share and that's going to help create those opportunities for you to share uh, your business opportunity or your products with someone else so three simple things, start by building yourself up, engage universe, get universe to go and work for you, don't take it all upon your own shoulders, it's willing, it's willing to bend backwards for you, but we have to ask for that help. Secondly, we want to build ourselves up.